Hello everyone and welcome to Gear Off Farms. Today we are going to be sawing some lumber here on the farm. We've had some rain over the past couple days so there's not a lot of field work getting done. So we're going to take advantage of some free time and saw some lumber. The mill has been hibernating for the past two months so it'll be nice to get it out and uh, get familiar with it again. The intended purpose for this lumber is to build more of these uh, hunting shacks that Mason built uh, a couple months ago. It turned out really nice. It sounds like he has a few more ordered to make. He's already sold a couple. So while the getting's good, we're gonna make some more lumber and, and he's gonna start building more of these. The logs we're gonna be sawing today are, are a bunch of these pine logs here we have piled up in the yard. And these logs are perfect for a project like this. So thank you all for watching. Let's go saw some lumber.
these came from a tree removal service, so they didn't trim them up, you know, like you would if you were going to saw them. So he ended up bringing them to me with all these nubs sticking out, so now we got to do a little bit of that. making a bunch of two by fours especially because that's a, a bulk of the project that gets the entire frame of the project our thoughts is especially around the farm you can never have enough two by fours it seems like you're using them here and there all the time for odds and ends and, and projects all over the place so we'll probably cut some extra two by fours more than planned and then we also have those siding pieces hey what are your siding pieces the old one we did one by eight but i think today we might uh Make them like 1x12s or something because those 1x8s get pretty tedious. Yeah. Trying the 1x12s just for that, that ain't gonna hurt. So a bunch of 2x4s, 1x12s, and then some of that, that those strips. The strips I'm not entirely worried, worried about. I always can just take these more ugly looking 2x4s and put them in a stick table saw if you want to. But yeah. Busy afternoon, a lot of 2x4s, and then you heard the man, a couple 1x12s. Hopefully we uh, get some good yield out of these logs and, and make these. Uh, what would normally be useless pine logs. Useful. We got to see we got a chain that's getting loose on us. We'll have to tighten that here. Things are wearing in. We're getting our use out of her. Mason just mentioned how he's noticing how nice and square they are compared to last time. You think it's because of that new blade that's really making a difference or slower or different wood or well it's newer, newer blade. This blade's a little more high end too. That's what they say at least. That's what yeah. Dad said. It, it does look quite a bit better. And this uh, this pine has quite a few less knots in it than the stuff we used prior. And I don't think it was sitting around as long. I think this oh. stuff was cut off more recent, so this stuff is cutting real nice. It's a really soft pine.
moving on to the big log. This should yield a lot. We're going to try to make some wider boards for the, the paneling or the siding, whatever you want to call it. Try to make some 1x12s out of this, maybe some 1x10s. It might be wide enough to get two, uh, two Kents out of it. Looks bigger on the mill. Looks a lot oh. bigger on the mill. We gotta position it so we got both log turners. The log deck is three foot spacings. I wish they would have two foot. I don't know, maybe they didn't have enough room to get everything in there otherwise, but then your your shorter logs you got more options. Because you always want your end to somehow be on top of something. And the longer they are, the less it matters, but the short stuff you want them to be able to sit on as many of those decks as you can. The sawing's going pretty well. Mason actually just sold his last project. Yeah, it went out pretty nice. Uh, he said he was going to use it for what, Mason? He said he was going to use it as a scale house. For well, these hunting shacks I'm building. That could be garden shed, hunting shack, she shed, yeah. scale house, cool. playhouse, outhouse. Yeah, outhouse. That'd be a nice I outhouse. I could drill a hole through it with a chainsaw for an outhouse. <laughs> Uh, it looked like he owned an excavating company, so I'm assuming... Uh, Very nice guy. I'd recommend his uh, excavating to anybody. 
Yeah. So if you're uh, own an excavating company in Hillsboro, Wisconsin, shout out. These 10 inch, couldn't quite get 12, two 12s out of it. So yeah, two 10s. It'll still work, it'll still be nice. We almost had a big issue. The stack or the log was getting too tall where it wasn't fitting under the top of the saw head. So we had to take three boards off the top in order to clear. Last log yielded over 32 one by tens. That log yielded really, really well. Mason and Dad, they're moving on to the next log, and that's going to make some more uh, paneling. I'm not sure if they decided yet if they're going to make one by tens or try to get some more out of that guy and make something up to like 14. I think you could, or or maybe do 12s and then a couple two by fours. We're not going to be able to take uh, two 20 inch swaths like this last one. It's not big enough for that, but. We'll for sure get another good stack of, uh, of boards out of this one. Nice and straight logs too. So far these logs have been really nice to work with. a dozen more some of these are one by 13s others are one by 12 especially towards the end tried to get the most we could out of the board all these boards are roughly uh, 11 to 12 feet long a lot of good yield out of these past two logs and we got plenty of two by fours and now we got all of our scraps all of our edges to uh, make some use out of them
This part is what takes the most time, messing around trying to get yield out of these boards. Flipping them, cutting that edge off, flipping them again, cutting the other edge off. We could be a lot more picky, but when it comes to waste with this time, it doesn't pay to get too carried away because it's not the, the most premium stuff. If it was some higher end hardwood, we'd be uh, really trying to save some of this stuff down here and, and make some use out of it, make some smaller pieces out of it. But this will just end up turning into firewood is what it will be. Getting down to the last final pieces, now we're cutting those strips for Mason to, to seal those cracks in between the, the main panels covering the exterior of the shed. Uh, board and button or barn and button or whatever that's, they that's call the it. That's the technical term for it, board something, and button. Something like that. Yeah. I guess let us know what you would call that. Something but, button. Yeah. I don't know, maybe it's bad. I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about. Does anybody know what they're talking about? We're finished with sawing. Now it's time to clean up the mill and, and uh, get all this lumber put away. And that is it. We are going to be done when it comes to sawing today. We got some other small jobs to do on the farm here before chores. So thank you all for sticking to the end. Make sure to check out gearockfarms.com and check out our hats if you haven't already. We'd really appreciate it. And we also really appreciate you who have already purchased one. Thank you all for the support. It means a lot. Make sure to stay tuned for our other videos and we will see you next time.